Hey guys, Daily Tech here, and today I've been asked to make this video to show you a few different ways on how to map the buttons on your PlayStation Move controller to emulate the touchpad on your HTC Vive controller. So there's two different ways you can map the touchpad of the Vive controller to the PS Move controller. The first way I'll explain will act like the digital touchpad on the DualShock controller, where the second way will be more like the thumbstick. Before I begin, all the different button names for each controller can be found on the wiki on the GitHub for the PS Move service. That's right here, and I've got the link in the description below. For the first method, this is the section you need to add in your Steam VR settings file. This maps the direction to up, left, down, right of the touchpad. You can map these buttons in any order you want. This is just the way it, have, it is by default on the wiki, but you can change it to whatever feels most comfortable. The way this works is that you select the direction that you want is going to be on the right side, and the button you want to map it to on the PS Move controller will be on the left side. That's going to correlate with the button mapping in the wiki here. So in this example, the circle is going to be like touching the touchpad on the right side, the X is going to be like touching the touchpad on the left side, the triangle is the, the up, the square is the down. So now we've got the buttons mapped in the Steam VR settings file. I'll show you a quick demo on how it works. I'm going to use Space Pirate Trainer as an example here. It's not the greatest because there's nothing directly to the left or right. However, I can show you some of the directions uh, using button combinations. So if I hold the triangle, that's the up direction, and then press the X or press the O, that's going to give me left and right, so that's going to be the top left and top right. And then if I hold the square and then press the X and 0, it'll be the bottom left or bottom right. Now moving on to the second way, the way that's going to act more like a thumbstick, these are the sections you're going to need here in your Steam VR settings file. You're going to need the meters per touchpad units, and this is going to be the sensitivity of how that thumbstick's going to be. Also, you can map your other buttons, your circle, um, your, your X, and the other buttons to other Vive controller buttons that you could find here in the wiki as well. You're also going to need this line here as well in your Steam VR settings file. Just copy that from the wiki. By using this method, all you need to do is hold down the PS Move button and then move the controller in the direction that you want to move the touchpad. I'll give you a demo of it right here. As you can see in the demo here, when I press the PS Move button, the little menu comes up. Then all I need to do is move the controller in the direction that I want to select. So if I move down, I select the bottom one, up for the top one, and then you can even move it right around like you would a thumbstick. As I mentioned previously, this is probably the most preferred method. However, some games do require just a snap straight left or right, and that's when you're going to need the other method. Now the easiest way I found to manage these settings is to create two different Steam VR settings files. So I'll show you an example here. So in the config, you're going to have two different Steam VR settings. One I just label as D-pad, so that's going to be the first method we spoke of, and the second one is just my regular Steam VR. So if I do want to switch between the two, all I do is just rename this one to something along the lines of thumb, and then switch my D-pad ones back to the regular Steam VR. And that way when I restart it up I'll be using this set of settings which is actually going to be my ones for the touchpad. And then you could just go back and forth as the game needs. So that's about it for how to map the touchpad. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And thanks for watching. And be sure to check out my other videos listed here. See you next time.